Hi there, welcome to Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And as you are aware, we normally have a broadcast of our show on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But today, we are celebrating Labor Day Yeah. by kind of taking the day off. Yeah, fire, fire up the queue. Exactly. Labor Day weekend, one of the things that I love most about Labor Day is this is the holiday of the working man. Yep. And we celebrate... And woman. Yes, when I say man, I mean humankind. There you go. Um, this is the day that we celebrate all of us putting our best effort into making ourselves better, which in turn makes our community better, which in turn makes our country better and stronger. One of the things that I am uh, very happy to do, Lonnie, on, on national holidays is put up the flag. Always. Yep. Um, I, uh, I do a radio show on Saturday mornings and for Labor Day weekend, um, I was up very early. I think I had to flag up before six o'clock in the morning. Wow. Yeah, um, yep. and I'll be putting it up Saturday, Sunday, and of course, it'll be up at the Gallagher compound today as well. I know you love to fly your flag. Gotta love my flag. Mm -hmm. um, and you know what? If you don't have a flag, they're $6.99. Yeah. I just saw one, $6.99. Mm -hmm. Go buy one. For me, Growing up as a kid, I think the neighborhoods where I, I lived, most of my neighbors were also very patriotic. I don't know if that helped in, in, in shaping the type of American I would be. But one of the things as a kid I remember that I used to love was looking down the street and house after house after house uh, seeing the flag being flown. You know what? Now I was just, I was in our old neighborhood last week. I went out to lunch with a buddy. I was driving down Eastern Avenue between El Camino and Arden Way. Yep. There are, they still have the big old wooden telephone poles, mm -hmm. and on every one is an American flag at a 45 degree angle on a pole there. So somebody has taken the time, and they, they fly day and night. Yeah. And I thought that that was just really, that was special. I thought that was pretty amazing. Uh, as Ronnie was mentioning just moments ago, uh, this is a weekend where a lot of Americans will spend much time in their backyard. This is the unofficial end of summer. Yep. I think there's a roughly a, a little less than two weeks to go until the official end. But a barbecuing. Oh, man. Love the barbecue. You know, I had yesterday, I had a tri-tip that was done absolutely perfectly to the point where the outside of the meat was crispy oh, yeah. and, and blackened and oh my gosh the taste of the meat inside Ronnie. I'm kinda hungry right now. Oh it's just killing me to think All about that. All I had me was a protein shake this morning yeah. so you're, you're killing me here. So uh, ribs I think are one of the things that we'll be doing today at the Gallagher compound. Um, you were just telling me you're putting the finishing touches on a new barbecue. Yes, outlet, huh? yeah. So should be should be good to go. Cleaned up the grates real good. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be barbecuing in no time at all. We have a couple steaks marinating. Uh, mm. That's gonna be perfect. Yeah, that's gonna be just perfect. Some beans, maybe some potato salad. Gotta be bushes beans. I don't. Oh, I like the bushes. Oh, they're the best to, yeah. to me. I don't know. It was sad when that dog died. That was. Yeah. That was tragic. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so uh, we thought we would just kind of check in with you. We know many of you will be traveling today, whether to or from, and spending a lot of time with family and friends and neighbors and such, and and, and not available to really watch a 20-minute video here of ours, and, and uh, we don't want to even ask you to make that sacrifice. So uh, we thought we'd just come and say happy Labor Day to uh, you. Let me put this out there, though. Okay. In today's age, with the advent of Lyft and Uber, there is no reason for anybody to drive after they've had anything to drink. Well, um, and don't be, and there will literally be, a, a, just in California alone, there will be a thousand people that go to jail and their life is changed permanently because they get a drunk driving arrest. Yeah. So don't be one of those people, uh, have a designated driver or use Lyft or Uber. Uh, just doesn't make sense. You could kill yourself or some, or your one of your loved ones, or a completely innocent bystander. Yeah, you know I always think about that. A lot of times when I'm on a plane and I'm looking down, uh, and I see cars on the road that look like the size of an ant. Right. You know I think to myself, you know there's a whole life, a whole family in that 
car right there. Yep. And if anything were to happen, things would change so significantly, so fast. Um, and, and the same applies. That car that's right next to you, that's, that's a man who's a dad. Right. That's, that's a lady who's a mom and um, may have children in the car. You don't think about that. It's not as important when you've had a couple of drinks in you. Yep. And I can tell you here in California where we film our show and live, uh, the California Highway Patrol uh, will, in fact, be out in great numbers it's, enforcing the DUI. This is a maximum enforcement weekend. So even yeah. today, today, tomorrow, and Monday, uh, nobody in Highway Patrol has a day off. Everybody's working, and they're looking pretty much for one specific thing, and that's drunk drivers. Yeah, so please, you don't have to do that anymore. Call Uber, call Lyft, call a friend, call a parent, call anybody. If you have AAA, AAA will actually pick you up and tow your car home for you. So that's also a service to consider. There are so many different ways you can go. Uh, the last of which should never ever be to drive yourself home if you've been drinking. Yeah. Even if you have a question, even if you think, gee, I wonder if I should drive, it, you're beyond the point. Right. You know, believe me. And and your brain, uh, because intoxicated, is not able to make a uh, correct decision you're, on what you yeah, should Yeah, you're do. not thinking rationally. And right. you know, driving requires about a dozen different fine motor skills all at the same time, which is not a problem if you've been driving for a while. You learn to you know maintain your speed, maintain your lane, mm -hmm. use your turn signal, uh, watch for cars around you that aren't maintaining their lane or their speed. But once you start drinking, slowly but surely, these motor skills start dropping off. And then people, you see they're going 20 miles an hour down Madison Avenue, mm -hmm. or they're like bouncing back and forth between the bot stops and the lanes. So it's pretty apparent uh, when we get behind somebody that's been drinking, uh, just oh, and, and not only that, but uh, nowadays people are, are drinking, driving, and using their phones. Right, yeah. And that's just one more element you're adding to the multitasking yep. that we know is driving. So please, make a good decision. That's all that we ask. We want you to be here for our show on Wednesday. And we're glad that we're able to say to you, Happy Labor Day, and celebrate yourself, celebrate America, and we will see you on the next Men Are So Smart. Bye-bye.